Welcome back to the Audio Ag Show. My next guest, the uh, first guest, a real funny guy. I was reading the, the paper, the research on him, and it reminded me of a sketch he did with the state years ago called The Jew, the Italian, and the Redhead Guy. Really close. The Redhead Gay, I mean. The redhead gay. That, uh, that's, uh, I mean, you know why? Because it offends 40 people in that one sentence. Yeah. And then the schedule, the schedule is really funny. Kevin Allison's here. What's up, buddy? Welcome hey. back to the show. Thank you. Great to be here. Now, you, uh, you, you said during the commercial you noticed it's very cold in here. Yeah. I, we keep it Letterman cold. John, are you cold? I was told they do that for me, which is very flattering. Are you upset <laughs> by that? I'm usually cold, yeah. Would you like? I mean, I, I think... always keep my jacket available. Is it up to me? Do you want my jacket? You're not going to fall asleep, though. See? That's right. It keeps you awake. Yeah. Kevin. I actually like it cold, too. Kevin, you're, you're, uh, you're an outside party. And clearly a sensible guy. I'll let you, I'm the it, redhead gay. You, How much more outside does it get? As the redhead gay, <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, what do, do you think it's up to me to say, now that I know John's uncomfortable, to say, I'm not. listen, I can compromise no, with the I'm temperature? No, I'm not uncomfortable. Well, he can no, always wear layers. I can layer, yeah. Yeah. Do and you I'm think usually, it's unfair of me to make you layer? Listen, it, <laughs> I'm usually never cold. It, when you say it's cold, it's usually about 45 degrees in here. I, really? I, yeah. Oh, was it? I'm bringing up All right, this has everyone, been pestering. Everyone says that's ridiculous. <laughs> Hey, you guys! You no, guys are very... you guys are shaking your head. No, you try sitting here where it's like blowing on you. Yeah, it's this cold, is but it's cold not that zone. Well, it gets to when you maybe. sit under the exhaust where it's blowing freezing air for three hours, you it folks gets over there have cold. no idea what's no going idea. on. No idea. Yeah. Really, guys, get with it. <laughs> now I know. Now I feel bad that I'm making. No, you... no, 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 no. I just throw my jacket on if I'm cold. I'm not cold. Really, I mean that's that's the solution. Yeah. Maybe a scarf or something. We're fine. Yeah. <laughs> well, look at the, the girls wear the scarves and hats every day. That degrees. should be an indicator. Uh, that, that, uh, that, is, that, is, that is cold 45 degrees. I don't think it's 45. All right. I was exaggerating. Yeah. 50. <sighs> Uh, now, so Kev, what are you? Uh, are you real busy now doing stuff? Like you do? Yeah, show? yeah. The uh, risk I do uh, yeah. the podcast, and it's a show where people get up and they tell true stories that right. they never thought they'd share in public. And started off, we were just doing comedians telling crazy stories about, you know, like crabbing your pants in the White House or being on acid somewhere or other right. and falling out of a tree. But then people started coming and sharing stuff that was really emotional and yeah. crazy. Like okay. people like, oh, I tried to kill my mom and stuff like that. So, <laughs> so in the course of one like evening, you don't know where it's going to go. It's like laughter and tears. There's only one thing that could top that, and that's I, d in fact, killed my mom. <laughs> right. Well, we do want to do it at prison. Uh, yeah, we want to do that. Like, would be yeah. a, well, listen, I had group therapy at a couple of mental institutions. Yeah. And this one woman who ran it, her style was she would let the other people in the therapy give therapy to the people before she did. And sometimes it wasn't appropriate because it was real, real crazy stuff. Yeah. So there's a new guy in the group. And his guy's name is Louise. So this woman goes, she has an enormous cup of coffee that she <laughs> held on her stomach. And she would say, um, Louise, tell the group why you're here. This guy gets up and my hand to God, he goes like this. He goes, uh, I, I like angel dust. I'm an angel dust addict. And um, I kidnapped my friend's baby. And I was going to sell it for dust. I wouldn't have sold it. I mean, the baby's fine, but I was going to sell it for angel dust. I never, but I got the dust, and I got high, and I drove him back on angel dust, back <laughs> home. And the baby kind of fell out of the thing and cut its head, but it's fine. <laughs> oh. uh, and then he sits down. The woman goes, and she takes a pause. She goes like this. She goes, Artie, feedback? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting there like, wow. <laughs> so, I said, what's up? I said, we do it. I said, Don't you think this is out of my category? <laughs> so I got up. She wouldn't, she wouldn't take no for an answer. I got up and I said, listen, Louise, uh, don't do that again. <laughs> <laughs> That's very useful advice. Yeah. Well, you know, it's funny that that show, I basically did that on the Howard Stern show for eight and a half years. I would leave that show after telling stories. And I go out on 6th Avenue, and like UPS guys would be going, damn, man. Like, what? I don't know. <laughs> Get your act like, together. Howard was so great at luring you in. Uh, uh, you didn't realize you were talking to 11 million people. Yeah. You thought they were shrink. Yeah. And I'm on 6th Avenue at 11 o'clock going, what did I just say? That's how I first got into it. In the, in the state, we were so bad to each other. We were so, like, roasting each other that all happens. the time. That I said, in the mornings, when we were at MTV, I said, why don't we just spend a half an hour telling each other, like, how we feel? Because yeah. I'm the sensitive one. Oh, that's one. hilarious. But I was the only one who didn't hang out with anyone else because I was, you know, in a 
sub basement in the meatpacking district right. at night with my face between some guy's ass cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else were strange. Ken Marino didn't uh, yeah. didn't relate to that. <laughs> so I always had the crazy adventure stories of you know looking for sex. Well, in the it doesn't city. beat that, and that's when the meatpacking district was real. Now it's Disney World. Oh yeah, yeah, now yeah. It's yeah. So, Everything is so nauseating. Yeah, Manhattan's become Disneyland, but yeah. the meatpacking district back in the day was really a tranny bars and crank and hookers yeah. that will, will, will cut you. Will cut yeah. you. Hookers with bad vocabulary. And, uh, <laughs> and, and, and and bars that were like real bikers. Yeah. Like, you know, and I, I remember doing coke off the pool table at, <laughs> the, at the Coyote Ugly place. Off, yeah. the, off the table in between a shot. There was a guy, there was a place, I think it was called John's, which was like one of the oldest uh, gay, like anonymous hookup joints in the right. city. It had been around since like the 50s. And it was way, it was a couple basements down in this place and just dingy and dirty. And I remember at one point, like I'm down there thinking, ah, I don't know if anything's going to happen with me here. It's a little, it's a little frightening. And then I feel something going on underneath me and I'm like, whoa, 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 what's going on? And I look and it's it's a midget. Oh. <laughs> of course it is. Oh. We call them little people. Have you ever hooked up with, with a little person? Sorry. Yeah, yeah, I'm not supposed to. Have you? No, I haven't, but another time <laughs> I, w I ran into, the, I ran into uh, the Stonewall Bar once yeah. uh, around that same. I've been there. Yeah, have you? Yeah. This was back in the day, though, and it was a little grungier, and they were having, a, a, they were having a kink theme night. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I had to use the bathroom, and, I, and they had a trough. And just as I'm going, I realize, what's that in the trunk? It was a it was Another a little ninja? person. <laughs> it was a little person bound in the trough. No, <laughs> we have a no way. That's hilarious. Jeez. Did he have a little ball in his little mouth? <laughs> <laughs> little people. Oh. Well, yeah, well, 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 listen, we, we do a, we do a little people porn section on the show, and here's Mike announcing it. Listen, little people porn. <laughs> Is that the creepiest thing you've ever heard? Really? Got it one more time. Little people porn. Because <laughs> they want, I read a story where they, they, they don't like midget porn. They want it to be little people porn. And yeah. little people porn sounds way goofier. Like, way more, like it's condescending. Like you can't say little people porn without going like this. <laughs> Do you want some little people porn? <laughs> So no no you're right so you were when you did the state in yeah. the early 90s you were uh, gay cruising the city. Yeah. In the meatpacking district. Collecting stories, yeah. Yeah. Well, was that the reason, or you were just horny? <laughs> no, no, no. I, well, I was like, in the future, I'll have a storytelling show. And, 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 and I'm collecting stories. <laughs> I'm Kevin Allison, and I'm collecting stories. You, so you never had sex with, do you think you could get an erection for a midget? You know, this is the You'd thing. You'd like, like to think you can. But. Since I, when I started Risk, a lot of people dare me to do things because that'll be risky to share stories about. So I went to this kink camp like uh, yeah. two years ago, three years where ago. Where you're now a counselor. Yeah, where I'm now a counselor. This this next time in February, they do it in, in the wintertime, they do it in a hotel. They said, now we want you to teach four classes. I'm like, I don't know if I've got that much, you know, I have to develop Depravity. some new fetishes. Really? And then you're just con being contrived, you know. Yeah. Uh, you know. So, Fake no, I, I, I think that w I've opened up that box, that Pandora's box of fetishes, and here's the thing they don't warn you about. When you start to get too specific about what you like, then you can't get it up for, no, uh, for the random little person listen, that might I, one day show up. I know. And that's sad if you get a little person and you can't perform. <laughs> no. Uh, but uh, that, did you ever invent the fetish? Did you think you ever, did you ever invent the fetish at the camp where it's a legitimate, like, on the books fetish that oh, you came up with? I, I, know a, I know another guy who did. He, yeah. he, he was literally in one of these situations where they were like, we'll give you your, your tuition or whatever. Your, your, it, you can come to the camp for free if you teach four classes. So he, he invented balloon bondage, where you take those long balloons and you uh. tie someone up. And he found that you actually, that it's such a strange material that if you put enough of those things around a person, it <laughs> does like a restrain lot of work. them. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was forever. It's it'll a lot restrain of work them. Just to blow one. <laughs> of them. It'll restrain them. I don't know how hot it is. <laughs> no. I 
I've never been a fetish guy because I want to, like, I'm so horny. I'm a horny slob. I want to get to the sex. I like, okay, we're going to have sex, but first I want to build a shed. You know? Yeah, right, <laughs> right, 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 When right. do we, I don't want to dress up like a horse. Right. You know right. what I mean? It's the, the people who are into the horse stuff, that's crazy. It really Thousands is. of dollars spent on saddles and all, uh, you know, because it's you, expensive. If, if it's your fetish, you don't want to like buy your horse a cheap saddle. No, of <laughs> course not. <laughs> Wow. My horse gets a special saddle. <laughs> yeah, that is, it's you mean expensive. Like with the, the whips. Oh, yeah, and yeah. The there's there's people who are way bridles. into pony play, and, yeah, they, and pony they'll play. do, you know, all the things that equestrians are yeah. into. Yeah, only with uh, people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that is, uh, that awesome. is fun. No, this human sexuality, I, again, there's another uh, article about a Long Island guy. I said this last night. A uh, guy had sex with all his pets. Two dogs, a cat, and a parrot. And the parrot, could, I said, why would you have sex with the one animal that could tell somebody? <laughs> <laughs> How do you even manage it, though? Uh, the one animal. <laughs> Maybe it was into tickle torture. <laughs> the Maybe one that animal that could feathers. testify in court. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we got to take a break. This is fun. Mm -hmm. Now I'm missing the mis meat packing dish. Uh, no, we'll come back more with Kevin Allison after this. <laughs> The Artie Lang Show, weeknights on Audience, only on DirecTV.